Hello and welcome to Semiconductor Club, a channel where all we talk about semiconductor engineering. Please show us your support by subscribing our channel and get the latest updates by pressing that bell icon. In this video we will learn about what is Advanced Microcontroller Bus Architecture, AMBA. Overview of AMBA 1, 2 thirds, 4 fifths explanation of different AMBA protocols Advanced Microcontroller Bus Architecture is generally defined as an open standard on-chip communication standard and an on-chip interconnect specification for the development, management and connection of blocks in a design. While considering the design issues, a multi-processor design faces many problems. AMBA as an architecture facilitates the development of these designs even though they have large numbers of controllers and peripherals. AMBA is used as the on-chip bus in system on-chip designs, so sees application-specific integrated circuits, ASICs, and high-level embedded microcontroller. AMBA1. Introduced in the year 1996, AMBA1 had only two buses named Advanced System Bus, ASB, and Advanced Peripheral Bus, APB. It was the first version introduced by ARM. AMBA2. The second version of AMBA came out in the year 1999 with a new bus named Advanced High Performance Bus, AHB, along with ASB and APB. AMBA3. Third generation of AMBA was brought out in the year 2003. Through this version ARM introduced Advanced Extensible Interface, AXI3 or AXI V1.0, with slight modifications in AHB and APB, AHB, Lite V1.0 and APB3 versus 1.0 came out respectively. Advanced Trace Bus, ATB V1.0, was introduced to allow on-chip debug and for trace solution. AMBA4. In the year 2010, the fourth generation of AMBA came out with a new bus named AXI Coherency Extensions, ACE, with slight changes. AXI4, AXI4 Lite, AXI Stream V1.0, ATB V1.1, APB4 versus 2.0 and ACE Lite were introduced. AMBA5. AMBA5 Chi, Coherent Hub Interface, specification was introduced by ARM in the year 2013 to enable high-performance and scalable system-on-chip technology. It supports non-blocking coherent data transfers between processors using caches. This is used by Cortex-A57, Cortex-A53 processors, CoreLink DMC520 Dynamic Memory Controller and CoreLink CCN504 Cache Coherent Network. APB. In order to reduce the complexity due to interfacing and power consumption, advanced peripheral bus is used in AMBA-based designs. Low bandwidth peripherals are interfaced by using APB. Through APB, system performance can be improved in terms of operation and integration. APB Bridge and APB Slave are the two main components of this bus. APB Bridge is the bus master. Only one bus master will be there for the APB and AMBA-based designs. AHB. AHB is generally a high-performance bus which can provide better bandwidth operation. Through AHB, a design can achieve features like split transactions, better data bus configuration, burst transfer, single clock edge operation etc. AHB is used on ARM7, ARM Cortex-M and ARM9 based designs. AHB system design contains AHB master, AHB slave, AHB Decoder and AHB Arbiter. AXI. AXI V1.0, a burst-based protocol, was first introduced by ARM in the third generation of AMBA. It provides better performance, high frequency and high speed operation. Here there is a separate address and data phase. It supports data transfers using byte strobes. Here burst transactions are possible with only start address issue. Ability to give multiple addresses helps AXI to be more useful. ACE. The ACE protocol extends the AXI read and write data channels by introducing separate SNOOP address, SNOOP data and SNOOP response channels. These extra channels provides mechanisms to implement a SNOOP-based coherency protocol. And that was it for today, hope you liked this video, see you in the next one, thanks for watching.